Hi everyone, this is Glenn at Switch Up. Before we start today's review of Figment, I just want to say a big thank you to the developers for the review copy and also remind you all that we give away a free digital game for the subscriber that is the most active in our comment sections every month. Us. Figment takes place in the human mind and you take charge of Dusty, the former voice of courage, as he attempts to rid the land of the nightmare creatures that have recently appeared. It's an interesting story, both in terms of the literal one being told, but also the more metaphorical story about overcoming fear and trauma in the mind. The graphics in this game are an absolute joy to behold. They are a mixture of hand-drawn but with strong brush strokes like an elaborate oil painting. The texture and depth that this adds to the world really does bring everything to life. The actual game world itself is one of the most whimsical and surreal that I have ever encountered. You are inhabiting someone's mind and traverse through different themed areas such as the Freedom Isles and Clockwork Town. The best way I can describe it is to say that it seems to merge Lewis Carroll's Wonderland with the weird and wonderful contraptions you may find in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and tops it all off with a few MC Escher inspired buildings thrown in for good measure. The characters are all full of life and help to create a sense of a living, breathing world although the only minor negative that I can label against them is that their more hand-drawn look feels a little out of place against the oil painting style backgrounds but in an environment as surreal as this this may well have been a deliberate artistic choice and who am I to argue with people talented enough to create such a beautiful game. From dandelion seeds idly blowing on the breeze as you walk along to musical notes filling the air with their joyous sounds this is a place you will want to experience. I love when game developers take a chance on a unique graphical style and this one knocks it out of the park. From the beautiful brush strokes to the whimsical style, the graphics are an absolute delight and they receive 19 out of 20. Right music is a big part of Figment. Certain areas have their own musical score and these reflect the area of the mind that you are currently frequenting. From the carefree and melodic tunes of the creative side of the mind, to the more structured and regimented music of the logical side of the mind. I particularly liked the transition music between stages that had quite a haunting sound to it, almost like an old jewelry box tune winding down or a gramophone playing its final song. One of the most humorous aspects of Figment was how the bosses sing at you. Ah, persistent are we? Well, for you I have a gift full of black death rectos and green gills. A pharmacy of bitter pills, drenched in sweat and with a scream, you wake up from my fever dream. In fact, the game is almost a musical at times. Now, I haven't been serenaded by a boss since the great Mighty Pooh in Conker's Bad Fur Day and it made me chuckle out loud when this first happened. It just adds another string to this game's bow of whimsy. Figment is fully voice acted and in truth this is a little hit and miss. You can knock on the door of any house that you come across and the residents will shout things at you. I'm not lowering myself to do anything about such things as nightmares. What's below me? Most are done in a heavy accent of some description and the acting here leaves a lot to be desired. But again, there is something about this game world that even when parts don't come off, it just seems to contribute more to the surreal atmosphere rather than break the immersion. Plus this one here really sounds like the Pepper Army mascot. Ah, these nightmares make me so angry! I feel like smashing something! Music does exactly what it should and enhances the experience and is only let down by a slightly wonky voice acting and it scores 15 out of 20. Figment plays on an isometric plane and is essentially an adventure game or more so an environmental puzzler. You make your way through each environment until you find your path blocked 
and then use objects or items in your surroundings to clear the way and progress further. The puzzles are ultimately very simple and most of the time come down to needing to find an item in order to advance. Generally the item will be in the near vicinity and it doesn't take too long to find. The most common template seems to be needing to find a certain coloured battery to power something and then a handle to turn it in a certain direction. It's a shame that the gameplay boils down to something so derivative as the game's presentation deserved a bit more than this. Having said that, I still found myself enjoying the game for what it was. It's not all puzzle solving though, as there are combat sections too. This basically comes down to pattern memorization. Attack, let the enemy attack, dodge and attack once more. As already mentioned, there are also boss battles which are a very welcomed addition and are handled quite well. There is nothing wrong with the gameplay, but it is very by the numbers and does become a little repetitive especially when you get to the larger areas later in the game. Talking of these larger areas, there is no map during the levels. This will not be a problem in the earlier levels as they all move at a brisk pace and are very linear. To be fair it's not a huge problem in the larger levels either, but you may find yourself a little disoriented when areas with multiple paths make an appearance. There are also some collectibles to find in the shape of Remembranes. These are forgotten memories that are usually off the beaten track and take a little more thought in terms of how to reach them. The beautiful presentation of the game does hide gameplay that is a little simple but is still fun to play and it receives 13 out of 20. Controls are again pretty simple and straightforward in Figment. You control Dusty with the left stick, press Y to attack and B to roll. A is your contextual button and allows you to interact with all of the various objects that you come across on your quest. Controls are ok and they receive 15 out of 20. Figment costs $15.99 or strangely the considerably higher £17.99. For that price you are getting anywhere between 6 to 8 hours gameplay. It doesn't strike me as a game that you would return to over and over again and this may hinder it a little. The collectible remembranes add some replay value for completionists and there is absolutely no doubt that this game has had some serious love poured into it. What the game lacks in replay value it absolutely makes up for in high production value as the game looks and sounds stunning. All things considered, value receives 14 out of 20. To conclude, Figment is a beautiful game and the time, effort and love of the developers shines through in all of the neat little quirks such as the operatic boss fights and the gorgeous hand-drawn graphics. The gameplay itself is not quite as polished and does start to feel a little repetitive the further you venture into the game. Having said that, it's still fun to play and will tax your mind just enough to keep you engaged whilst your senses gorge on the delightful aesthetics. All this makes up for an adventure well worthy of your time and Figment receives a switch up score of 76%. Many thanks for watching this review, please leave a like if you like what you saw and heard and remember to keep it switch up for all things switch all the time and as always ladies and gentlemen, happy gaming.